Hello, welcome back to a workbench that's in desperate need of a good tidy. There's been a lot going on recently talking about bidirectional RCDs, um, which has been slightly setting off my bullshit detector. And I, I kind of want to do a bit of an experiment. The reason it's been setting off my bullshit detector is a residual current device is a residual current device, not a residual energy device. And it's measuring the current flow in the phase and neutral. And if there's a difference between them, that trips magnetically the circuit off. I don't think it cares which direction the energy is flowing, because the current is flowing either way. But I've recorded this before doing any of the tests, so I guess we'll see. Um, we have my multifunction tester here, set to RCD test. Um, I'll have a play with the settings in a minute. Um, we've got phase and neutral. Um, using a bit of cable that was lying around. <clears throat> um, we're in my shed at the moment, which is uh, TT, um, and is fed by a 100 milliamp time-delayed RCD inside. Um, <clears throat> I've had to do a bit of fudging to get this here. Um, I can confirm that a Schneider EZ9 MCB sort of reasonably well fits onto a fuse box din rail um, and fits much better than a chint one. Um, so that's how we've got a MCB-ish protected supply out here. Um, we've got a Merlin C10 RCBO 30 milliamp and a chint RCD. Um, so I'll just run through a some tests on them quickly. The power is now on. I've locked the tester on. I've got it connected up to the two input terminals and if I test that it tests. So far so good. If I connect, uh, yep, yeah, so it's locked on to test. If I connect that onto there Well, that's been a resounding success, hasn't it? Why are you not testing? Okay, so that's fine. Happy days so far. I've switched it off up there. Um, yes, I should be doing this differently, but this is also a chance to use my favourite little screwdrivers, because these are really tiny terminals. Um, that's definitely talk to spec. Right, so I've now got the connection into the output terminals. Does the test button work? Yes, it does. Well, that's kind of what I was expecting. Well, that works fine. I mean, that's kind of what I was expecting. So this is this is an RCD connected completely backwards. Yeah, working fine. We're now on the chint. This one doesn't actually seem to have an in and out marked on it like uh, the Merlin does. Um, I think this is correct because I'm pretty sure the way I had it wired up before 
the bus bar was down here. Um, but yeah. So the test button works. Okay. Um, I mean, so far that's worked exactly as you'd expect it to work. Um, An exciting view of the back of my hand. Oh, what I should be doing is using an impact driver. That would really annoy people. Okay. I mean, you can see the effect of changing which cycle um, it's on, because when it was connected up the right way round, we were getting about 17 at the 180 degree setting, and now with it connected the wrong way round, we're getting 17 with it on the zero degree setting. So there is that effect, I guess. I'm now going to connect phase and neutral up the wrong way round, like the wrong way, wrong way round, and see if that has any effect, which I don't think it will. Right. Phase is connected to neutral. Neutral is connected to phase. This is the output side of this. Oh, look, it still works. Um... So I'm putting this into the neutral input. Oh, look, and I'm guessing if I change this, I'll now get 25-ish. That'll do. I don't know what to say here. Uh, yeah, this is the other end, which I'm not so proud of. Um, this is going to be a welder socket eventually, because currently the welder's just running off a 13 amp socket. Um, and uh, that is my beautifully wedged in Schneider MCB at the end there. Um, and uh, that's a My Energy CT monitoring the uh, two inverters I've got around the back. <laughs> 